hello friends uh, today i'll just tell you how to write a simple menu driven program so to write any menu driven program you can use any editor so i am just using this text editor it's a very simple okay and uh, whenever you just uh, type any uh, the programming assignment you just follow this same template okay so today i'll just tell you how to write this program and uh, do not change the template whenever i'll just give you any kind of the programming assignments you just complete that programming assignment in uh, this template only okay so first include the header file so this header file is very important already i just told you this header file is having all kind of declaration about the inbuilt functions and uh, i'll write the main program here Uh, I'll just tell you what is that int main and void main difference afterward when I'll just take the function part. Okay. So here first I'll just take one variable that is a choice. And uh, see uh, whenever you just go for any many driven program, you need to use that do while function, a uh, do while loop. So first you just write the do, and here you just write printer. Write the menu. Uh, for the new line, you can say new line, and then this. Uh, suppose first program you are doing is positive, positive, negative number, right? And second, that option I just copy that same. that second would be that second choice is like okay so printing a table sorry printing a table okay and the third choice that's very simple that is to exit So you can say to exit that zero choice, exit right, and uh, this is the menu actually, right? So after this menu, you need to accept the choice from this menu. So again, you need to ask to the user, enter your choice, right? So this is the. choice which we can accept from the user and this is a scanf function that is used to accept the choice from the keyboard so this percent d and you can use this and choice right so this statement is used to accept the choice from the user now here you can use the switch case Switch and that choice you just whatever choice you just accepted from the user that will execute this switch case statement. Now here, see uh, this is the important part. You just type this one only. Do not write anything here inside of this case. Right? Simply write. case 1 case 2 case 3 case 4 whatever cases you are having these cases are as per your the menu so just simply write these cases and uh, the empty cases along with only break and here that last case would be zero that is to exit right this is a exit function actually to exit from this and if you are using any the Exit function. So for that one header file we require. So I'll just include that header file. This is stdlib dot h. So this header file is required for this exit function, right? And one default also statement. If you are not entering any choice from this given list. Then in that case, you should have that option to execute it. That is a wrong choice, right? Wrong choice, right? 
so this is a switch case now see if you enter that first choice then this will execute according to that first choice and again you need to ask to the user whether you want to continue or something for that you need to put here print f wants to continue continue you can say yes i will write capital s capital n right so just ask to the user whether you want to continue or so again from user you want to accept that either yes or no so this is percent s as i am just considering the character of string and suppose i just take that variable as a ch right so i have not declared this variable ch so i will just use this ch variable right now see here you need to end up that while loop so here you can write while that choice is either equals to y right i uh, okay i write small y or you can say ch equals to capital y because user can enter either capital y or small y right so this is the end up of this do while and here i can say this is end of your program right i just save this and see whenever you just write any application so this is a template only that menu would be different these options would be different rest thing should be as it is so whenever you get any statement you just complete this template and then you just try to write the program so this template is fixed for all assignments so i will accept all assignments in this template only so the template is different the rest things are as it is so when you complete this template you just save it and run it or compile it so you can say something is missing here so new line is not given here okay i'll compile so it is compiling then uh, i'll just run this default exe you can see that menu has been displayed now see 1 2 and 0 this is the menu now you can accept that choice either 1 2 or 0 so if you accept one or two any choice so that loop will execute again and it will ask again that choice suppose i am entering one so you can say this has been executed one is executed here but as this is the empty so it is not showing any result so because this is empty so simply executed and it is asking again want to continue so if you say again yes so again that menu will be displayed and then you can say the two option again that same would be executed here wants to continue y on n so because again this is empty and if you say here n so it will exit from this or again you have a choice suppose you say no so it will uh, exit and suppose that same thing will just run it see here if you enter that choice zero then again it will exit so right so either here you can say no so it means you don't want to continue but if you are having that menu in front of you and if you want to exit from that so this zero choice is there to exit from your program right so this is your template so for each and every program you just try to write the same template right so now second thing is whenever you just write the program so first you complete only case 1 don't write anything into the case 2 first you complete this case 1 it means whatever is code there about the case 1 you just type that code compile it run it if it is running then and then you just go for the case 2 otherwise don't go for the case 2 because if you complete whole program and if you compile your program then you will get lots of error so in that case it's very tough to find out that error so that's why if you simply complete this case it means you know where would be that error so that error would be in case 1 only because you are working on case 1 when this case 1 gets complete if it is compiling and running then 
you can assume there should not be a error in case 1 in future because you just tested this case 1 then you can type the case 2 when you complete case 2 and when you compile if you are getting some kind of error it means that error is in this case 2 only that error will not be in case 1 because you already tested this case 1 getting this so here one uh, the simple uh, the case i just try to tell you now suppose you are uh, just uh, saying that number is positive or negative i will take one number that is suppose m right and that is suppose 10 right and if i ask if that n is less than 0 so what it would be print f if that n is less than 0 then that number is negative right else else num number is positive getting this so you just here declare that n and then compile it you can run it okay when you run it if i enter that case one so case one what you are saying that number is positive you can see here because you just assign that 10 to this n if i suppose assign something minus 10 to this n and if i compile this uh, and just exit it so you see if i uh, have the value 10 so that number is positive and if i have suppose that value is minus 10 so you can see if i enter choice one so that output should be negative you can see here that number is negative and if you want to continue it depends on your choice you can say yes or no if you say yes so it will continue otherwise it will exit so see it means you don't you just completed this case one you just complete this case one compile it run it debugging whatever you want to do it so you just do it on case one only don't go for the case two when you complete this case two now you can start with this case two you can see here you can type something it's related to the table right suppose you want to uh, print this table so you can write that code here for the table and when you compile it if you are getting any kind of error it means you will have that error into this one only not in this part because this part is already tested okay so <coughs> this is the uh, actually uh, template to write the program so my request is to complete each and every assignment in this format and then you just try to submit this assignment now uh, i am just giving that same uh, in your moodle so complete this and you just submit it okay so i think i'll stop here thank you thank you very much